Hey, this is Coltrans here from Necrotics Gaming. I'm bringing you another build. This is going to be probably my favourite build um, in my collection of builds. It's my Horfrost Z Titan build. Um, I use this uh, not as much as I wanted to because the warning with this thing is it will wreck it for a fire team. Um, you will coat everything in ice, you will deny kills, and um, you will get in the way generally. So let's have a look at how this build runs. So with this, I would like a um, stasis weapon in my primary, something that fires fast, so I'm using the crate, um, 720 rounds um, a minute, not slow at all, it's got the vice stinger on it, it's running one for all, and I'm running stats for all. Um, this thing hits really fast, hits really nice, and the reload on this thing is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it is just what I need for this build because I'm going to be wanting to shatter as many um, ice crystals as possible and getting myself my overshields up. So the Salvation's Grip, heavy stasis grenade launcher, exotic, absolutely fantastic when this thing first came out. No one used it. Um, a couple of years ago I started using this thing with my Titan on Beyond Light and then when I started using the Hoarfrost more this thing kind of worked out perfect. It's great for creating walls of ice around bosses, champions and the damage when you shatter with it is absolutely nasty. So with the uh, Queen's Fall Sensor Artifact um, the two most important is the um, Pillar of Ice and the Hail of the Storm. Um, then my third choice is Dragon's Bite and what I want here as well is I want to pack my um, solar mods in there as well so I usually run a solar in the energy slot and you can see here the Hall of Frost Sea so when using subclass your barricade becomes a wall of stasis crystals slows nearby targets when created um, it's absolutely fantastic and you still get your fast reloads with it so obviously on my Stasis Titan, I am packing the Rally Barricade, um, it doesn't really matter because you just get a big tall wall anyway. Um, strafe Lift for that um, maneuverability, and the Shiver Strikes, the only thing you've got, and the Glacier Grenade is great for shielding, great for shattering, and um, yeah, it is my favourite grenade, especially when you're running with this Titan. So then we're going to be using Tectonic Harvest, Shattering Stasis Crystal uh, creates a Stasis Shard, this Shard creates melee energy and then you go for the diamond lance um, with this thing when you get the shatter um, with stasis abilities or weapons you create a uh, stasis lance it is really nasty um, it is good for knocking back champions and it's good for taking on small groups of adds then you got the whisper of conduction nearby stasis shards track to your position this is absolutely awesome, especially when you're running about with your Titan and going absolutely bonkers with it. You are getting those shards um, pulling up on you super easy. Then we're going to be going for Whisper of Shards. Shattering Stasis Crystal for temporarily boost your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional Stasis Crystals increases the duration of this benefit. And you are going to be shattering an absolute ton. You're going to be putting them out everywhere. And the Whisper of Rhyme, collecting a stasis shard, grants a small amount of overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds, collecting additional, obviously buffs it up. Then again, Whisper of Chains, while you are, while you are near frozen targets or friendly stasis crystals, you take reduced damage. And then the Whisper of Fissures, increased damage and size of the burst of stasis crystals. And you can see here that I'm running 101 and I'm running 104 on my discipline and resilience you can see all the mods I've got set up on this build you can see the artifact so definitely uh, clip this one up and save it and um, if you want a dim for it hit me up in the comments below but watch the footage that's coming up and you're going to see how lethal this titan is like I said it's literally one of my favorites um, you're going to get ice crystals for days, you're going to be overshielding like crazy, and with the amount of crystals you're putting out, you're going to be very hard to kill. I've got some footage of me with a Tormentor where he absolutely gives me a quick hamming, and then I end up taking him down pretty easily with this. Okay, enjoy the video. Definitely crush this out on Onslaught, you'll have a lot of fun with it. Um, try out another content too, it is a nasty build. And like I said, if you want the dim links, ask in the comments below. I always respond back. 
All right, guys, see you in the next video.